Hello, folks. Welcome to Cudlow. I'm Larry Cudlow. It's Friday, and it's time for us to review a movie. Now, this is a review of an old movie. But first of all, it's a fantastic old movie. And second of all, it gives us a snapshot of the future. Now, you'll quickly recognize the movie is The Untouchables with Kevin Costner and Sean Connery and Andy Garcia, right? It's a fabulous movie, great cast. But second, what's really important today about this movie is the IRS have guns, and they're using their guns, and they're using their guns on the bad guys, I guess, the Al Capone mobsters, and they're using their guns to save babies, which we like. But most of all, I guess we're getting a taste of the IRS and their shooting capabilities, because in the $80 billion IRS funding in the misnamed Inflation Reduction Act for the 87,000 agents, well, the agency is planning to hire at least 1,200 additional armed agents. Now, an Open the Books report shows that even before the $80 billion increase in funding, the IRS Criminal Investigation Division was already heavily armed with, get this, 4,600 gun stockpile, including 3,282 pistols, 621 shotguns, 539 rifles, 15 fully automatic firearms, four revolvers, and 3.1 million rounds of pistol and revolver ammunition, 1.5 million rifle rounds, and 367,000 shotgun rounds. Now, I know this may not be a lot for the U.S. Army, but I'd like to know why are a bunch of nerdy accountants, supposedly, why are they armed to the teeth? Now, on the IRS website, under the major duties section of the job description, applicants are notified they must be willing to use force, up to and including the use of, quote, unquote, deadly force. Now, before we show you this dramatic movie clip, which is really back to the future, I confess, even though I oppose the 87,000 new agents and the $80 billion spending line item, I figured, you know, it's just a bunch of accountants, peaceful people sitting at their desk and computers doing spreadsheets. Little did I know we're going to send them into the field, armed to the teeth, ready to go after any Al Capone-like criminals who might make a mistake on their income tax forms. Now, hold on. It's time for our Friday movie review. Take a look at this unbelievable scene. All right, don't worry. Andy Garcia is going to save the baby if you haven't seen the movie. It's a very dramatic scene. But this whole thing is an odd story. Since the Bidens hate guns and are always pressing for new legislation to take your guns away, let me insert, as a supporter of the Second Amendment, I do not agree with the Bidens on taking all your guns away. But arming IRS agents in this day and age with guns and Lord knows what else is defined as deadly force, I think I might have a problem with those guns, like IRS guns. By the way, a review of the IRS agent's shooting analysis found that the agents have been accidentally firing their weapons more often than intentionally firing them. And they're not well trained, apparently. And they try to conceal the data of accidental gun discharges. And frankly, the IRS has a history of conducting armed raids on innocent Americans. So, notwithstanding the heroism of Elliot Ness and the untouchables, I just don't think in modern times IRS agents should be armed. I mean, if we're talking about going after drug cartels, well, yeah, DEA people should be armed. Former Attorney General Bill Barr and a number of lawmakers have suggested using the U.S. military to go after the cartels and their drug factories. Now, that's the modernized Al Capone angle. But it's not an IRS thing nowadays. The DEA agents should be armed, provide maximum funding for police throughout the country, too. Well, yeah, they should be fully armed, but not IRS agents. Really? Aren't they involved mainly in accounting disputes?
I mean, if a successful small business person has a dispute with the IRS over a 1099 form, do I really want the IRS accountant to pull out a gun or, quote, other deadly weapons? I don't think so. Speaking as an LLC myself, I don't think so. Now, I know there are a lot of Al Capones around today, but that is not the IRS's job. At least, I don't think so. So I'll conclude, folks. Save America. Disarm the IRS.